some kind of interesting decisions. Yeah, and and that's the time when I think partners, uh, adults, can help sort through that in a way that makes clear that you don't have to separate from your family right. because you have different ideas. But you do have to dig inside and figure out, why do I have these ideas? Which ones have I always had that I'm going to keep and why versus they belong to my parents? And which ones am I going to change and why? And so how can I create a kind of an internal set of criteria of things I believe that I can use when I find myself in challenging situations that I can stand back and say, okay, what's my philosophy about this and how am I going to apply it in this sense? Well, and, and what you're what you're referring to is exactly what you talk about in the book, which is a strong sense of self. Right. And and some people have that very clear sense of self, while others haven't found one that fits. Right. Okay, let's take a break right now. And when we come back, we will continue talking about authoring your life with Marsha Baxter Magolda. And we'll find out some of the stories that are included in her book, following 30 students through their 20s and their 30s, making big life decisions. Which way do they go? And how did they know to go there? We'll be right back. Good morning. We're back. I'm Mary Rogers. And you have started your day with Mary in the morning. We are having a really nice conversation with a author, Marsha Baxter Magolda. She is the author of Authoring Your Life. She's written six other books, and many of them have to do with the research that she does involving college students. So Marsha spent 20 years tracking recent college graduates in their 20s and 30s, and really looked at what kind of decision making did they do? And and where were they getting the internal guidance in making those decisions? We've been talking about uh, having a strong sense of self and how helpful that is as you guide your way through that period of your life where you're really coming into your own. Marsha, can you share with us one of the stories from the book about a, a young person in their in their you know goal to have a sense of self? Um, sure. Well, there's so many good ones. <laughs> um, I guess one of the things that might be helpful to people who are listening to this is that the the ones who were able to find that sense of self were first of all. Uh, motivated to do it, that something was wrong in their life, something wasn't going well. They either couldn't get the career they wanted or they got it and it wasn't all that great, <laughs> or they yeah. couldn't find the right relationship or they found it and mm, didn't work out that way. Something that really motivated them to say, wait a minute, I've got to stop and think this through. And then the other side of it is supportive people in their lives who were willing to help them do that and say, it's okay to be in this challenging situation, it's okay to be rethinking your life, your career, your relationship, whatever. Um, and so there's one person in the, in the book who's had a longer struggle than many simply because she's not been in environments where that support was there. And she's constantly encountering challenges, particularly on the work front, just never found a good work environment. Uh, and, and when she does... You know, the place closes or the boss moves or something. Yeah. It's just a constant. Uh, and, and so you really have to have that steady support to, to build that up. You, you can't do it all by yourself. No, I don't think you can. I, I don't think there's anybody in this project who would say they've done it by themselves. All right. Let, let me ask you this. Did you see anything in this group of students who you followed just kind of generationally as compared to students, say, two decades ago? Well, it's hard because I, you know, this is the only group I followed. Um, some of them talk about their childhood and growing up in ways that um, they had a fair amount of autonomy. And I think, uh, and one of their current concerns as they're raising their own children now is that they're not offering their children that same level of autonomy out of concern for their safety. And so I do think that students, and, and I work with college students uh, in my teaching role, mm -hmm. I do think that some of the college students who are coming now have had far less autonomy as children because of safety issues uh, and far more advocacy on the part of their parents. And I think they're finding it very difficult to get out of the external formulas and start to work on ideas for themselves, more so than the people who are in the book. So they're very sheltered as they come into college. Yes. For the most part. Well, that's going to be very interesting to see then if they do that kind of pendulum thing of swinging far to the other way. 
Right. <laughs> it's always <Yeah. laughs> it's really interesting to watch this. So let me ask you this: Who is the book perfect for? <laughs> is this because I'm thinking graduation gifts to everybody? Oh. <laughs> well, it it really would be a perfect graduation gift, uh, both for a high school student and a, a college yeah. graduate, because it. It lays out, uh, there are maps in the book that are generic enough that you can kind of build your own. As a matter of fact, there are different versions of the map for different stories in the book. But it really would convey to a young person, here's, here's what's out there in front of you, and here's some ways you could go about navigating it in ways that may save some pain. I mean, I, you know, I don't think we can make the transition into adulthood pain-free, but I think we could make it a whole lot better experience than it than it has been for some of the people in the book and surely, you know, people at large. Right. Well, it's it's very empowering and puts people in control, you know, of making decisions about their life. Right. So a wonderful book. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank uh, you. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. So we do have a copy of the book to give away. If you would like to receive a free copy of Authoring Your Life, Developing an internal voice to meet life's challenges. You just need to give us a call right now. The studio line is 231-929-1067. And Marsha baxter Magolda, thank you so much for spending time with us this morning. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, great. We'll be back with more of Mary in the Morning right after this.